<laughs> Yo guys, I've got a spark which I'm gonna use to ignite the fire for an episode of a Skylar's Imaginated Soul Six series here on the channel. We are straight into where the previous episode left off because we had a one hour recording and now I'm post commentating them back to back and the reason I'm post commentating them is because the original PlayStation 5 footage uh, was lost when I accidentally quit out the application before remembering to have the prior gameplay recorded utilizing the internal PlayStation 5 uh, gameplay capturing software. Yes, it's very convenient that you can even like after 60 minutes of gameplay have those 60 minutes actually captured so you don't need to press the record button in the moment so it's very good if you play like online games for example and you don't necessarily have anything recording because you weren't planning to do such a thing you weren't planning to record in the first place but then you can uh, if you have a lot of match highlights go back have that footage uh, recorded from your prior playtime and then you haven't lost that footage, you can upload it and edit it to YouTube in whichever manner of your pleasing. It's uh, very convenient that way. It's how I uh, make sure that whenever I've forgotten to initially hit the record button uh, during these sequences, it's how I go back and ensure that they are recorded and prepared for the editing wow, phase. But obviously, in this it. case, I quit out the application, which means that you lose all of your prior gameplay recordings, and that's what happened. Thumping one yeah, prior, so I quit the application it. before <laughs> yeah, actually um, going through the software and having for 60 minutes prior recorded. I am over explaining this once more, but when I have an hour of things to post commentate, let's just say there's going to be a little repetition thrown in there for good effect. That effect being to put up the system for everything I am repeating. So yes, it's a shame being on the PlayStation 4 not having the exact same, like, imagine like chest pop-ups as what we did for the original PlayStation 5 run-through of the game. So unfortunately, for the ones I collected in the original run, uh, the specific Imagine like pieces that is, they're always going to forever be lost. I will never have collected them on camera for this series. Uh, and then we're having stuff that is technically being collected twice because we have stuff we already collected on PlayStation 5 but now it's being collected on PlayStation 4 also. Very rather annoying indeed that's putting things mildly and uh, should I be able to change things in this is what I will change about the series but unfortunately the universe doesn't care about what I want and believe me was I frustrated when I realised my mistake and I quit out the application and lost that 60 minutes of footage that I could have so easily had recorded uh, by selected so on PlayStation 5, but instead uh, it's now lost. It's really convenient when you have a convenient um, like software to take advantage of on PlayStation 5, and then you forget to take advantage of very convenient software. It's inconvenient to forget about convenience So yes, it's great software, I can't fault it, uh, not even to a single tier, I can't fault it. But I can fault, however, my personal lack of brain cells uh, when it comes to ensuring that this series has actually been recorded on the gameplay wise and after all that I still have all the original commentary files but all of that wouldn't apply to the gameplay you see on hand which has been re-recorded on PlayStation 4 so there's no point syncing up commentary that doesn't fit with the gameplay at hand well, this fit with the gameplay at hand is now we get to switch out for the might of Hoods to call himself in this dark area, that is pretty cool. Uh, I could have instead showed off how much work I've been putting into the dark quick shot imagination because that is now all the way up at uh, past level 30. If you know, I wouldn't know that, why not bring out a little bit of physical? It's been a while since we've seen him in the series. Last we got to take him out this regular form before we switch out for a steel plate form because that is going to be so ugly by comparison. Not that Hutsicle is the best looking uh, character to begin with. I mean, his figurine is awesome, but would I call him a handsome devil? No, not really. But then again, what does a guy like me know about absolute handsomeness? The answer is everything, because I am the utmost handsome man on this planet, and any other planet for that matter. And I'm very humble about my looks too. But all joking aside, uh, say Hutsicle compared to a steel plated version. It is superior in every conceivable fashion, so we're going to enjoy this regular the version whilst we can before the uh, inevitable steel plated version of placement portal because we want to get around to these variants eventually. I mean, they're going to give us an even higher level cap for our matchmakers, so not swapping out for them would be foolish in the end. And here is a treasure of the chest. Now it's going to be our second class yeah. because we still have one final Dr. Neo Cortex mini game to take advantage of as well. Here in Wumpers Groove in Stone, so it's not quite here yet, but we do have this sequence to where once again we can press the play button, see what the correct pattern is 
to take advantage of since imaginators are here I need to swap out to the imaginator of my choice so in that case I'm gonna go from the light smasher to Hutsuko only to go back to the light smasher again um, after we attack these fellas they are really good up and we can push them into the right spot and as you can see I did in fact go over the uh, play sequence and I've been uh, showcased exactly where it is all these fellas need to be but you don't need to do that because you can just figure them out regularly by um, pushing the blocks and then seeing if they light up green or not green is correct red is not so so long as they're on the red spots you know that is wrong you just need to keep pushing them until they glow green I pushed that one too many times that other time I knew exactly where it was it needed to be but now that finally happens so then we can continue on man this level is slow paced I mean the level is great I love the attention to detail especially uh, with it aesthetically but that does not mean that traversing it is quick. It makes me wish that uh, like Crash Bandicoot we could dash any time we like because with Crash Bandicoot 2 levels like this would not be for uh, slow pace because of a dashing ability. Crash Bandicoot 1 does not share that same uh, like superiority in gameplay. Crash 1 is uh, extremely slow paced. As good as a platformer is, as revolutionary as a 3D platformer is, uh, the game is not fast paced. And a lot of the uh, platforming is still very isometric. By that, I mean, I don't mean it's literally an isometric view with like uh, 30 degree so exact movement. I mean that a lot of it is straight lines. Like, it's not got too many uh, diagonal requirements there. It doesn't take as much of advantage of the 3D plane as a game like, uh, say, Super Mario 64 does. But Crash Bandicoot still a revolutionary game in and of itself, especially when it came to showing us just how tough a 3D platform could be. Like, Crash Bandicoot is many things, but kids' games are not one of them. If a kid plays that game, trust me, they're going to wind up spontaneously combusting based on the raw and raging gameplay that they will see and fought before them. Oh, hey there! Uh, anyway, we now have a mini game, much less Crash Bandicoot inspired. Like I said in a previous episode, this uh, feels and plays exactly like the um, air section forces. of the Spellpunk Library and Superchargers, with one exception being that you can't barrel, which is actually a huge major loss. I, I really feel that playing through this level, not being able to barrel roll there. It's so much more satisfying to be able to barrel roll and also you have much more uh, uh, movement options on the battlefield there. I mean, imagine being able to barrel roll and then shockwave, you could so easily guarantee the defeat of all those enemies and trust me, given that there's 60 enemies here to defeat, the margin for error here is the lowest it's been for any of these challenges. So already no doubt I failed, I didn't take enough no. advantage of this that shockwave impossible. because there just wasn't enough enemies around me uh, at the time and I wasn't able to get enemies to defeat them in time with a uh, lack of movement speed or, or more specifically the lack of a barrel roll. You can't dodge enemy attacks what easily or you can't position you? yourself to defeat enemies easily. That's just not something the developers wanted you to have fun with in this section apparently. No yes, when, when developing this obviously fun was the first thing they threw up when they were why I waited so long to start attacking is beyond me. I think I was waiting for my shockwave to charge up and then it never did because the shockwave takes an absurd amount of time to charge yourself up and here we are the last two enemies of the sequence and we're at 54 so that's how I take 54 plus 2 does not equal 60 even though in my personal opinion defeating these larger enemies should result in the higher score so if only defeating these enemies were 3 points each rather than 1 point each but that is asking too much my friends we're going to end at 56 because that is the correct response to the question what is 54 plus 2 it is 56 not 60 makes us 4 short of 60 and that, for sure, is annoying. <laughs> wow, I actually made a good joke. It took me, like, 25 episodes in the Skylar's Imaginary Social Secret Series here, but I, I finally no made a good joke. Warrior. And hey, I'm sure I a lot of you are um, appreciating battle. the post-commentary style. You're welcoming it with open arms because I had several comments the last time I did this for Starcast giveaway actually praising me for post commentary, being able to get into the nitty gritty and make a more personalised video from it, which I suppose is the nice same job. I can do here because there has Maybe been a development in my life as of late. I've been taking on more and more driving lessons, so I'm getting to a point where I am a fairly competent driver. Uh, I can effectively drive a vehicular unit without killing anyone, so yeah, competent for sure. I'm just not quite at the state to where I can pass a test just yet and I stole the car an awful lot on my last driving lesson I managed to find all the three ways in which to stall the car I didn't do it multiple times for same uh, stall I was just able to stall it 
in all three different ways. <laughs> but hey, that's just because I'm getting those out of the way now. Like, now that I have that out of my system, I don't need to worry about doing it in the future. Least of all, like, in the middle of a test. And even then, like, stalling in a test isn't be all and end all. Uh, it's about how you react to the stall afterwards. If you uh, are able to stay calm, recover, and more importantly, not put other road users at risk or hold them up, then uh, you are still able to pass your test this successfully and stall in, in that case, would be uh, nothing other than a miner. You can, uh, you can have up to 15 miners. You fail, uh, you pass a driving test even, so long as you don't have any majors. So that's going to be my. Uh, Objective going into that, and I want to make sure I pass it first time because I have passed my driving theory first time, so it'd be a really great legacy on my behalf. Ah, it'll be something that, you know, I'll obviously going into the future, I wouldn't let anybody else uh, live it down. If someone else is incapable of passing the test first time, and I am, oh, they ain't never gonna hear the end of it, shall we say. Uh, this ah, run is going a lot better now. We swapped out for no the Imaginator so, rather than going through this for the Dungeon Hero Podcast again because. Well, Imaginate is stronger here, can't you tell? I'm just adhering to the rules by swapping out for a Scarner, totally corresponding to the element of the area at hand. So if it's Imaginator, then I'm swapping out for an Imaginator. And we're doing this so that the Dr. Neo Cortex doesn't lose any health, because I'd rather lose an Imaginator over Dr. Neo Cortex, because Imaginators, uh, their purpose for 100% completion is fulfilled upon the moment they are placed on the for the first time, because you get the set for the specific elemental creation crystal at hand. Since these are in your hand, you get the gifts from them initially, you get the increased uh, level cap on your well, imaginators, Skyland. but you also need but them alive for time. their shrines, uh, because they give you unique weaponry that you can only acquire from completing their shrine as that character. So losing them before they've had access to their shrine is what locks us out of 100% completion, is something that we cannot do, otherwise we challenge in his entirety is failed. Maybe but we did get all get 60 right there, as you can tell, we finally... Uh, garnered that Imaginite chest, and that's a quick cut. Uh, eagle eyed viewers will be able to notice that. But we're back to our regularly scheduled programming where Earth Bazooka, or very originally named Earth Bazooka, at level 15. So this one is also uh, experienced swimming up off camera. Looks like our light smash right there. Okay, let's watch out for the shockwaves because taking everything face is not ideal. But outside of the driving stuff, I've also been busy with work. I suppose that's another reason as to why this uh, post commentating has taken as long as it has to get around to. But I'd rather just record my own shows from the series and go back and post commentate gameplay I've already pre recorded, especially since because this gameplay has been re recorded after I initially recorded this. So that's one hour that was lost. Then I have to record the gameplay, which is another hour. Then I'm having to post and take this, which is another hour. So that's four hours. And then, uh, obviously, editing both these uh, episodes is another 12 hours. For thumbnails, or another four hours on top of that. It's a whole lot of time that I could be spending doing literally anything else. So I do procrastinate. I put off this work as long as possible. But now, on this Sunday evening, there's no better time to post and take uh, these episodes. Get them sorted so that then we can have the double bill uh, for today, Monday, for the very day after. But luckily, after I post commentate these, uh, Ed and I say it will take a while. All I need to do is add the post commentary in the end, create any sort of um, like meme edits that come to mind uh, with things that I say, such as, you know, if I were to turn around and say, I'm beyond disappointed in my day, uh, and now my day is ruined, usually I would insert that mean uh, clip of the Popeye's food review. So yeah, that is a fun meme, that one, and it's something that I would do in normal instances, but because this is just an example of the editing, uh, I don't, I'm not actually going to bother going through and doing the editing, much like with uh, Glenn's head that I was talking about in the previous episode, I believe that was, but that is a choice of which not to edit, despite the fact that I was talking about it at the time, because it's too graphical for YouTube's uh, terms and conditions, so like I said, uh, putting out in the video would be a speedrun to demonetization, so that's a big no-no. Okay, let's get that pushed into place. Sweet! That's the puzzle all said and done with. Man, that was uh, that was quite the tongue noise I just made, wasn't it? To uh, quote myself on my recent, which also finally got finished by the way, my recent uh, highlights video for the cause Imaginators Only. It wound up becoming a new episode of Super Season 2. Um, 
For the next episode of that is currently in the work, so hopefully I'll go live soon. Obviously I've moved to upload next series whenever I have an episode ready, and whenever I have all of the episodes ready, I can uh, create the long form video with all of the episodes playing back to back to back to back, much like how I did for the original Sabotage, which that um, long form video got more views than like all of the separate episodes combined. It's hilarious how well uh, the long form videos can do from time to time, but it's really fun to take like three year old series create a long form video out of them, re-upload it, and then a bunch of people who never experienced that for the first time are watching the video through. For the most part, I'm assuming, not in one sitting. I mean, at the end of the day, like, these eight hour videos are a lot, so I know I can sit through them in one sitting. So anyone who does do that, first of all, I send out my mad respects to all of you. And I highly appreciate it. Obviously, I do. Um, okay, that goes without saying. My Earth Pursuit can see better things, but luckily that's what we have pizza for. Yeah, fake crash can be pretty brutal if you don't have your wits about you, but this is definitely looking like a very uh, earth and light themed thumbnail in terms of the creation crystals. Even if I've used earth before, I don't really much care. As long as the thumbnails have enough to distinguish themselves, I don't uh, care how they look. But I mean, with the track team ones, like I had to sometimes use the same character twice in the thumbnail, but uh, the second iteration would be swapped up in some way, whether it be one of the character's variants or the funny bone. I used both his uh, original render and one of his Lost uh, Islands ults, his uh, Fortune funny bone, which was one of the last like Lost Island alter ego forms. So yes, yeah, so the thumbnails I kind of like just do enough to distinguish them. At the end of the day, you want to make sure that they're uniform, so that then people know even before they clicked on the video what series it's from, what channel has uploaded them. Because I obviously have the uniform fire graphic at the bottom of all of my thumbnails. Oh dear, he's setting off another one. Not another one, anything but another one. But luckily for me, what I can do here is I can upgrade. I mean, look at how much treasure my Earth Pursuit has. Another benefit to playing it off camera a bunch. So this Crystal Calamity, we're going to upgrade that as well. Whilst we're at it, we're going to upgrade for Rhino Beat. I'm not, we're going to equip it, but that Crystalline uh, attack is definitely my favourite of the Earth uh, Elemental attacks. So yes, we're just short of being able to afford the Soul Gem. That because this is actually. Um, from the PlayStation 4 file rather than the PlayStation 5 file, I never actually seeked out the Soul Gem of the uh, Bazooka Imaginator in this save of the game, in this global save, so I wouldn't be able to even purchase that if I wanted to. Like, I have the amount of treasure now, I've uh, recuperated enough to afford it, but I can't even buy it because the Soul hasn't been seeked out on this particular save file of the game. Despite the fact that it has to have been on the PlayStation 5 file, where we obviously originally seek out Soul, it has to have been, because I can't play these characters without seeking their Soul out beforehand. Okay, let's continue to kill Fake Crash, or vice versa, and vice versa is definitely looking more likely right now, because Fake Crash seems to be killing me! I mean, killed by something fake, how awful and ironic is that? Something fake is being way more brutal than anything real in my entire life. This physically pains me and hurts me to see Earth Pursuit go fused in this way. I am so very much upset. My day is even ruined. To quote that meme once again. But hey, even incorporating memes into a video is one step further than I used to take editing because it used to be that I would create these jokes and then not even like follow through with jokes in the edit and I would just read them as they are without inserting any of the clips which I'm talking about. But then again, that's because back uh, then when I was making videos for the first time in the years of 17, 18, and 19, I just didn't really have such a sophisticated uh, software to work with. I didn't have a laptop with Premiere Pro, I didn't have uh, capturing software. So now I have all of these tools that I can take advantage of. My videos have improved tenfold because of it. So, as you saw right there, we completed all the objectives except for the speedrun and one of the boombox I seem to have missed, but obviously we're back to PlayStation 5 save now because this is what I had uh, recorded from all of that. So we're going to complete some of these goals, or at least accept the rewards from the goals that have been completed already. And then that means that we've added even more to the vault, which we can... Uh, open it up to conclude this episode with so yes definitely a, a very interesting uh, hour of which for me to have post commentated but it is a very much welcome into be back on the playstation 5 and say so when we go back to functional fires we can not only complete the speedrun objective but we can get that final boom box all in one fell swoop
It's annoying how on the PlayStation 5 though that I'm where I failed uh, all of the boom boxes, but on the PlayStation 4 run through, however, I was uh, actually successful on that objective. But here we have the type wall hole in it. Obviously, a reward for placing type wall onto the portal for the first time. We have a pirate voice, which is from the water sensei round. We're going pretty far back with a bunch of these pieces in the imaginary vault over here. But next up, we have another con piece. Now, I would actually, in this Imaginite Vault, purchase some Imaginite chests. Uh, but the, that part of the store is no longer available, so I can't even spend like my real life money on acquiring some of these digital chests from the PlayStation Store because that service discontinued it has been. And now, saying things grammatically incorrect like that makes me sound like Yoda, but I'm okay with that because Yoda is wise. He's very wise. That's what his like 500 year lifespan has led to. Yoda might be more than 500 years old. I might be giving you false information here. I can't quite remember how old Yoda is. I just know that Baby Yoda is 50. He's 50 years old and he's a baby still. It's like, if I look that good when I'm 50 years old, I will be so content with that. Unbelievably so. I would have won for, like, life lottery. Looking that good at the age of 50. So, we have some Crash Bandicoot arms. Oh, convenient. If I ever wanted to make a Crash inspired Imaginator. But who knows what our life Imaginator will turn out to be when we obviously have that corresponding with a uh, randomly assigned battle class. So, our next Imaginite is going to be some ears for Neocortex ears, because it's a gift from the Neocortex himself. Here comes a gift from Pinata. It's going to be a Pinata pack. That's pretty cool. Uh, then we have some epic gear, a Steam Bazooka. And now we've finally made it to the bonus goals, which we just uh, claimed in the poor screen beforehand. So, all these bonus goals are leading us to plenty of ultimate gear because we have completed most of those uh, objectives already. Very satisfactory indeed. So, here come some common pieces for Kubao New Hat for two bazooka. Because, you know, apparently one bazooka is. Uh, one bazooka weapon is not bazooka weapons enough already. So, here we go with a you know, new backpack for Dragonfly Rings. And here come the final two Magnite packs for the so this final piece is going to be an epic piece, so not the uh, bestest most note to end off on, but a note to end off on all the same, so without further ado, let's roll that outro. I cannot in good conscience end off this video without first thanking all of my incredible channel members whose continued support helped make these videos possible. Without them, these videos would be near impossible to make, so from the bottom of my heart, I truly appreciate every last one of them. If you enjoyed this video and would like to see more, there are plenty of options on screen now to explore, and please consider subscribing to keep up to date with all my content. On that note, this video is coming to an end, so thank you so much as always for watching. Until the next video arises, Peace.